the CECs are supposed to stay on until the new CECs are sworn in. The head of civil service cannot just uh, be wished away. The staff that were recruited within the various sectors within the uh, county were actually even trained by under the tutelage of uh, the transition authority, the, 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 the CIC and several others. We took these people through a lot of trainings and then uh, all of a sudden they are rubbished. And then another issue is uh, uh, governors, a lot of them come in and they have not even read the reports, the handing over reports. The, the, the governors that were exiting, their staff, their departments have to write reports and, and the handing over reports should then happen. And then they need to read and understand where are we. But you cannot just rubbish. We've got counties that have not even completed even offices that were built uh, seven, almost eight years ago. Mm. Uh, is, is this really the direction we're talking about? Uh, I also think that Senate ought to focus more on the, the processes of the counties as to how uh, one county government uh, trans, uh, goes into the next. How do they hand over and how are the assets protected? Uh, but you see, if, you, if every time one comes, you chase away everybody, probably in procurement, probably in stores, probably no auditors, uh, they are sent out, the finance uh, department, then you have no records. Because uh, institutional memory is also another part of management of uh, counties or government. Uh, and uh, if you take an example of... Um, the, the transition from the fa Kenyatta, the first, all the way up to now. The head of civil service usually, you find him continuing for quite a bit of time into the next government. Mm. The permanent secretaries continue until some part of that government. The only people that you ought to arrive with are about six. The advisor, the political advisor, economic advisor, your PA, your chief of staff, that's okay. That is, is agree, agreed on. About six of them, maybe your legal officer. That's all. But a lot of these other uh, governors arrive with, with a coterie of uh, their supporters. Some of them have absolutely no idea what an office does. But they come and tell staff, get lost. Now your governor is gone. Now, you find a new person arriving and wants to instruct the CEC, not even the CEC, the CEO in charge of health or the CEO in charge of cooperatives, telling them what they should be doing and that they should get out of the office because they don't seem to know what they are up to. You know, this is not professional at all. So we need to develop a professional public service at the counties so that we can move on, so that we can be sure that the gains of, the, of one government will only be built on by the next government. But if you come and start from zero, you keep destroying 